Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this is a KUB ultrasound report of renal calculus. This image is of a normal kidney and the image on the right is of a renal calculus in the lower pole of the left kidney. This is the clinical history in this example. Patient reports persistent left flank pain for the past month occasional nausea, and a history of kidney stones. Technique, a comprehensive ultrasound examination of the kidneys, ureters, and bladder was performed utilizing both grayscale and color Doppler imaging with a curvy linear transducer. These are the findings. Kidneys, the right kidney appears normal in size, shape, and parenchymal echogenicity, measuring approximately 11.2 cm in length. The left kidney is also normal in size and shape, measuring about 11 cm in length, with normal cortical thickness. However, there is a notable echogenic focus in the lower pole of the left kidney measuring approximately 6 mm, exhibiting posterior acoustic shadowing consistent with a renal calculus. No evidence of hydronephrosis or abnormal masses within either kidney. Ureters, the ureters are not dilated and no stones are visualized in their pores. Ureters are typically not fully visualized on ultrasound in the absence of dilation. Bladder, the bladder is adequately filled, demonstrating normal wall thickness and no intraluminal lesions. No bladder stones are seen. Post void residual volume is within normal limits. This is the impression. A 6 mm renal calculus in the lower pole of the left kidney with posterior acoustic shadowing, indicative of a stone with significant density. No hydronephrosis or urethral dilation, suggesting that the stone is currently not causing significant obstruction. Normal findings in the right kidney and bladder. Recommendations include follow up. And referrals. Given the presence of symptomatic renal stone, patient management may include increased fluid intake, pain management, and monitoring for signs of obstruction. Follow-up imaging or urology consultation may be warranted for persistent symptoms or if complications arise. Consideration for non-invasive stone removal techniques or lithotripsy if there is no spontaneous passage of the stone or in case of worsening symptoms.